In January 1944, at the height of World War II, the CIA's predecessor, the OSS, issued a secret document. The Simple Sabotage Field Manual. It was a guide for how to disrupt and demoralize the enemy's institutions without being detected. While much of the manual was devoted to physical acts of sabotage, within its pages were methods for sabotaging organizations. The manual detailed ways of thwarting the decision-making process, with tips for wasting time and bringing efficiency to a halt. Going unnoticed, these techniques lurk in our midst today. Number one, insist on doing everything through channels. Never permit shortcuts to be taken in order to expedite decisions. Number two, make speeches. Talk as frequently as possible and at great length. Illustrate your points by long anecdotes and accounts of personal experiences. Number three, when possible, refer all matters to committees for further study and consideration. Attempt to make the committees as large as possible, never less than five. The list goes on. Sound familiar? These intentional acts of organizational sabotage didn't end in 1944. They've become unintentional behaviors in today's workplace, with good employees unknowingly taking a page from the manual. Luckily, there is now a book to expose these behaviors and inoculate your organization against them. In Simple Sabotage, you'll learn how to protect your organization against unwitting saboteurs, increase your effectiveness, spur creativity, and improve working relationships. Stop unwitting sabotage in your workplace today.